Hello and welcome. Today we want to walk through what it looks like to schedule a work order from our schedule board. Within field service, our schedule board has some capabilities of expanding so we can see a little bit more screen real estate. I want to show you what that looks like. When I land on my schedule board, I can first hide my sitemap menu by clicking this little three line symbol up here. Now, if I want to expand my schedule board a little bit further, I've got the option to expand it using our focus module here. So from within here on the schedule board, there's a few different things that we can walk through. First and foremost, there's gonna be filters that I can apply to my schedule board. So if I wanna look for resources who have a specific characteristic, I can go ahead and input any kind of combination of characteristics here. If we've got roles set up for our resources, I can sort by roles. Potentially, I wanna search for resources in a specific area, such as Northeast, Southwest. I can look by territories if we've got them set up in the system. And there's a few other filters that we've got as we go down through here. Now, I'm not going to change any filters just yet, so I'm going to exit out of there. In addition to be able to change my filters, I've got a couple other functionality across the top here that I can look at. First being, I can change my view of the schedule board to show in different time intervals. So I can go ahead and I can change this to look at things from a weekly perspective. If I'm scheduling jobs that maybe go one to two week long, if I'm looking at things that are only going a couple of hours or maybe one or two days, I can change that view back to look at it from an hourly or daily point of view. And you'll see how the schedule board changes with each type of view. It gives us a little bit different information, slightly different layout. I'm going to keep it on daily view here. From here, going across the top, a couple other options that I have. I do have the ability to look at my resources from what's known as a Gantt view or else a list view. So this Gantt view is going to show me if somebody's available using blocks of time here. So this grayed out area is unavailable and then this white area is fully available. If I go to my list view, my list view is actually going to present me a little bit differently. So when I click down here, I can actually look within each individual resource. If I want to look on 4.8 for Abraham, for example, there's nothing currently booked for Abraham. So Abraham's wide open. This list view comes in handy once I've actually selected a work order to schedule. I'm going to pop back over to the Gantt view for now. As I'm looking at the schedule board, I am also able to change the date range that I'm viewing this at. So by default, we're looking at a daily view here. I can move this out a week if I want to look at the next week. I get an idea of what my resources are currently scheduled for. I'm going to drop that back to this week, though. And then a couple other options across the top here. There's the ability to print the schedule board. So if you've got a team where maybe you daily print out the schedule or weekly you print out what their schedule is and you post it on a board so that way there's a visual element for your whole team to look at, that is an option for you to use as well. There's a couple more functionalities over here, our details panel, which this is going to come in handy once I actually get into booking work. I've also got a legend. So once I have work booked onto my schedule board, if I'm not sure what a particular color or symbol represents, I can open up my legend to find out. I do have the ability to look at things from a map view. So right now, if I pull up my map, I can see the faces of some of my resources and where they currently are. And then I've got some schedule board settings that I can define using my gear icon. I'm going to go ahead and close out of all of these real quick, though. Across the side over here, we've got this ability to search for resources. So a couple things I can do, I can go ahead and I can search for a resource by name. So maybe I'm going to look for Ashley. Or if I want to change the way that my resources are filtered, that's what these little up and down arrows are going to give me the capability to do is just change that filter. Now, across the bottom here, this is where things start to get fun. This is what we would call our requirements view. So you're going to see a few different views on here, depending upon what your organization has set up. For today, we're going to work out of our unscheduled work order view. So this is going to be a list of all the work orders that I have in the system that haven't yet been associated with the resource. We haven't booked them. So I want to go ahead and get these booked. Now, a couple things that I can do, I can manually drag and drop this work order to a resource. So for example, if I just want to book Anne for this resource 501, I can book her for Tuesday. And then you'll see that my little details panel pops up over here to confirm we're going to book her on 412 and our duration. I'm going to modify this duration to be 60 minutes. So if I hit book on this, that's actually going to go ahead and create in the background a record called a bookable resource booking. 
that bookable resource booking is tied to the work order that we're scheduling here. And then we're going to associate and to that booking as well. So we understand that she's our resource. Once I've booked Anne, we'll be able to see that she's got her capacity taken up by one hour because we're generating that booking in the background. And you'll notice that this little plus sign comes up for Anne. Now we're looking at things from a daily view. So what I'm able to do is I can pop this open to get more detail as to what she's booked. If we're in an hourly view, let me show you how that changes. That's going to give us a different view and we're not going to have to open up the record further to see more details about how many hours she's booked for. So now when I scroll down to look at Anne and I got to go over to Tuesday. I'm going to be able to see that she's booked for an hour here on Tuesday. So from here. I've still got another work order that I want to schedule. And this time, I don't want to manually look to find somebody who's available. Instead, I want the system to search for me and tell me who's available. I'm going to go ahead and switch us back to the daily view here real quick. Now, when I click on an item that's in my unscheduled work orders list, you'll notice that this find availability button pops up. This is what I'm going to use to tell the system, hey, system, filter all of my resources based upon the requirements that are defined in my work order to show me who's available and when they're available. Now you'll notice that my list view pops back up instead of my Gantt view. I still have the ability to switch back into my Gantt view, but now with this list view, what this is doing is it's giving me individual resources who are available based on start time, end time. So it's sorting based on my first start time and my latest end time. It's also going to be able to give me an understanding if there's a travel start time. If we do have travel turned on within the system and we do have our resources and the work order assigned to a location, I can actually have the view here give me an understanding of what the estimated time and distance to get to that particular location would be. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to book Alicia. So when I click on Alicia here, again, that details panel is going to pop out over here. We're going to book Alicia for 4-8, and we're starting at 3-44. I didn't set this resource up very well, so I actually want her to go until 6-30 because this is a longer job. I'm going to go ahead and hit book and exit. And what that's going to do is it's going to create that bookable resource booking for that work order, and then it's also going to put that on our schedule board. Then it's going to take me out of this view and take me back to just my regular schedule board view. I get a little notification in the corner that my booking was created. And when I look over here, I can see that Alicia scheduled for roughly five hours to complete that work order. Thanks for taking the time to let me walk through how to use our schedule board. Look forward to talking to you again.